What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I'm sorry it's noisy here in the workshop. We're actually doing a bunch of things in here, but we have some news that is really a surprise and might cause a meltdown here with the Dallas Cowboys fan base. Um, as we get ready to go this weekend, they're getting ready to get the final roster stuff together. Dak Prescott, he's good to go, okay? After all the stuff that happened with Dak and everything else with the ankle and the heart attack that I had, um, he's apparently going to be fine and so on. A little soreness in his foot because of the wrong shoes. Don't use those wrong shoes, you know? Those shoes always hurt my corn. Six minutes, six minutes, six minutes, Dougie Fresh, you're on. No, but that's not the news that we have. Um, Brian Brodus is reporting that, wow, Jalen Tober might be inactive for the game. That the team is a little disappointed in how he's played um, in preseason and through training camp and may have him sitting. We already know Noah Brown's the number two, but they also feel good about Semi. They also feel good about um, Richmond. I mean, Richmond. Houston. I don't know why I said Richmond. Houston. So we don't know for sure, but Jalen Tolbert may be inactive this weekend, and that would be big, big news. Um, you know, at least Jordan Lewis. Jordan Lewis apparently full go today, full practice. He's in good shape to early go and, and be ready to rock and roll. We'll, of course, be talking about more of this and more updates tonight on my live stream at 9 o'clock Eastern. So be sure to tune in. You know, I'm in here, I'm, I'm actually cutting out. I gotta cut out these. I gotta cut out like 36 of those. I got a bunch of them already over there cut. I got the rest of these over here done. I've got all of the other pieces ready to be assembled. Check this out. Look at that. Not bad, right? Because I got to take care of the tailgate members. I want to show you guys a couple of things. I've been working hard at trying to do something different. Check these out. Posters. I can put anything on those. And my favorite Washington Commander fan, Nick Cap. Nick, it's not done yet. It's got a cure before I go ahead and put the edge on it. But let me show you something. Now, I know what's going to happen. Some of these trolls out here are going to say, look at that. He's making stuff for his house because he's really a commander fan. No, this is for Nick Cap. But look at this. Look at that. That I am really proud of. I, I don't like I don't like the Washington Commanders, but you got to respect Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor up here in the clouds. Look at that. Oh. And the wood is this purple heart. This shit is heavy. And one more thing I want to show you. I got to go back outside and get, hold on. I'm gonna be giving some of these away. So I can do round coasters and black ones. And I can literally put anything, anything that you guys want on them. Look at it, come on. Come on. That's pretty cool. You know, it's funny. What's funny is I had my favorite troll out there who probably gives me about 5% of my watch minutes and hours by himself because his life is so busy with trying to troll me and try and make me look stupid. He literally said, you know, I, I bought that machine right after Christmas. I guess it was 
Yeah. January. January, I bought it. And I have done all kinds of amazing shit with it. It is freaking insane. And I'm just scratching the surface of it. But I remember that guy literally saying that within six months that I'd be looking to sell it because I'm losing my ass on it. Yeah. More of the bullshit crap that has been proven wrong by an idiot. It's kind of sad that a person's life is so obsessed with somebody else that they're not living their own. Oh well. I'm going to do me. I'm going to look out for you guys. So I got some wood I got to cut. See you in a bit.